any object moves with constant speed in a straight line, unless it's acted upon by an outside agent. That fundamental principle is called the law of inertia. Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about Galileo. Why is it that we always call Italians of a certain period by their first names as if they were good friends of ours? <laughs> you know, it's not only Galileo. It's Dante and Leonardo and Raphael. It's strange. In any case, today I would like to tell you about our good friend Galileo Galilei. Here is a picture of Galileo made from a woodcut that was made while he was still alive. Two very important men were born in 1564. William Shakespeare in Stratford and Galileo Galilei in Pisa. As a youth, Galileo had first set out to study medicine at the University of Pisa. But he soon realized that medicine was not for him. When he found out that there was no professor of mathematics at the university, he dropped out of medical school. He taught himself mathematics, wrote a few papers, and began to build a scholarly reputation. And in the year 1589, with the help of a well-connected friend, he was appointed professor of mathematics. At the time, the university was dominated by Aristotelian scholars who saw little value in mathematics. Galileo considered his Aristotelian colleagues to be fools and immediately got into trouble by baiting and ridiculing them. It soon became obvious that when his three-year contract was up in 1592, he wouldn't be reappointed. So, when a position was offered to him at the University of Padua, he accepted it without hesitation. At Padua, he lectured in Euclidean geometry, Ptolemaic astronomy, and Aristotelian mechanics. He conducted his noted research on falling bodies and inclined planes. In 